Welcome everyone to the Angel Heart Radio Network. This is Barry Ocatol standing in for Annette McCoy today and we have a very special guest uh, joining me today which is Anaya Holili. Welcome Anaya. G'day everyone. Great to be here. Look, it really is great. We've got a very special day today. We've got the Conversations game being played live on air across the world today and I'm really excited about that. So thanks for making sure that they're available to us, Barry. Oh, look, thank you very much. Uh, and some of you may have heard of the Conversations game, and we'll talk about that more throughout the show. Um, we've got some amazing guests with us today, and we're going to give everyone who is listening or in the chat room a chance to play as well. So that's really exciting. This is a chance for everyone to be part of this game as well. So uh, it, it's pretty exciting uh, to, to have that there. For those who don't know me, my name is Barry Ocatel. I'm actually the creator of Conversations, an inspirational game. I live here on the Gold Coast in Australia, and uh, I've also been connected to Angel Heart Radio for about 12 months now, so uh, through a program called In One Vision. So what we're going to do today is we're going to play the game with everyone who we've introduced you to, and we're also going to play the game with the listeners who are either listening, whether you're listening live or as a recording, we will choose a card that's specifically for you as well. So you'll actually be part of this particular game. And the game itself is really a way of us connecting. And in literally what we're doing here is connecting with people from all around the world. And so what we're going to do is we're going to before the first break, we're going to introduce each person again, but this particular time we're going to introduce them from an aspect of life. And so that there are three cycles in the game and between each break we'll, we'll have a look at each of the various cycles. And what we're going to do is just introduce ourselves again, but this time instead of from what we do, we're going to introduce ourselves from who we are from a particular cycle. And... Remember that when everyone speaks, they are really reflecting something about each one of ourselves and so that we all get to be part of this as well. And so, Anae, because you're wonderful hosting there, I'm going to let you go first. And the only rule for everyone playing today is that we use I statements. So one of the key and fun things about this game is that we get to use I statements rather than we all need to do this or you should do this or whatever. We just simply say, for me, this means. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to choose a card for each person and I simply want each person just to tell us uh, in, in about one or two minutes at the most what that particular card means for them. And so now you're going first and your card is fame and glory. How's that to start with? <laughs> Fame and glory is a really, really cool card for me, actually, everyone. Um, I'm afraid in many areas of my life, even though it would appear otherwise. One of the areas that I feel afraid in is fame and glory, is to really stand up, stand out, and live large. I'm living large-ish, but I know there's so much more to come. I will do it but I must be honest I am also feeling afraid of doing it so that's what it means for me okay well, thank you very much and for the, everyone else listening for those playing live on air with us now or for those that listening in recognize there's an aspect in that in all of us because I certainly can relate to that as well so thank you um, let's cr go across to Doug in Canada Doug your aspect is food food that was interesting. That was coming up for me today, too. Um, yeah, um, food is uh, very important to me, Being uh, especially with the work I do. I've really been noticing that when I eat certain foods, it helps to increase my vibration and other foods drop it down. And so because of all the um, energies and stuff coming in, I'm really starting to become aware of what foods I'm eating because... I really like to keep my vibration high these days. 
thank you very much and uh, that's a really interesting answer that one as well so thank you um, Mickey we're going to go across to you now in Hawaii and your aspect is family and friends oh wow that's so apropos um, I'm thinking about my children and I, I want to get around to visiting all of them. I have six. And um, and just reconnecting and, you know, re, you know, and, 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 you know, bringing in that energy because a lot of the things that I do is, you know, is collaborative. So, you know, my family and my friends are involved in, you know, bringing together ideas and, you know, helping them come to fruition. And, you know, right now it's, you know, the, you know it, 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 I'm at a time in my life where there, it's so important for me to have them around as, you know, as a support group in so many ways. So, Wow. <laughs> Awesome. Look, thank you very much. Yeah, no, look, it, it's amazing with this card, this game, how the exact cards come up for the people, that, you know, and everyone sort of tends to say those sorts of things, like, oh, this is exactly what I need or this is exactly right for me and things like that. So um, that's really interesting. Um, Yvonne, we might go to you next. And Yvonne has got talents and abilities. Oh, talents and abilities for me... Oh, it's probably very appropriate as well because I feel that um, I'm really being nudged and kind of cajoled and pushed into, first of all, honoring my gifts and abilities and, and stepping forward and using them in a way that uh, are a service to others. So, and much like Anaya, just the thought of that almost takes my breath away because for me, that's that's a huge leap, but I know that like it is. It's just there. It's that that nudge is is, is one I uh, I can't really miss. So that's what it means for me. Okay, thank you. Um, it's interesting with this game, and, and already there seems to be a bit of a theme in terms of moving forward and and moving up to this next level and that sort of thing. So be really, I, I just find that really fascinating. So. One of the things to, to look at, I guess, is also the relationship between the aspects and, and we'll look at that when we get to the end. So, you know, something to think about, I guess, is not only each aspect but the relationships between the various aspects coming up. Um, Kathy, you're actually going to be next and uh, your aspect today, and this is your first game, I'll, I'll give you the dot points as well, and your aspect is unconditional love. And the dot points are to stay detached from drama, to love with no strings attached, to let go and just be, and what would love do now? So there are some dot points to help you. Uh, would you like to share with us, please, Kathy, what unconditional love means for you? You know, that's funny. It is right in line with what I'm personally going through. Um, it, definitely, I am... Um, you know, moving forward very, very rapidly in my career. And so what I'm learning is, um, you know, I have to make time for the people who are a priority, like my family, and I also have to make time for the clients and the groups that I service. And it's a matter of prioritizing not only my time, but my discernment around people and my own level of how I can engage with the people in my world in an unconditional love way. You know, a lot of people come into my basket for a lot of different reasons. And I don't really judge as a regular basis, but, you know, I do have a challenge when it comes to sometimes just being with my family or being with, the people close to me, and um, loving them in an unconditional way. Um, you know, sometimes you just want people to be kind of how you want them to be. You think it's easier for them to be this way or that way. And so the challenge for me personally and professionally is truly, truly embracing kind of the weird of somebody, right? 
in an unconditional way. You just love them for everything they are. And you don't try to mold them, grow them, coach them, or change them. You just love them. And by having that love in your space, they grow. And so that's awesome, Barry. Thank you. Oh, look, thank you. And uh, it's amazing how the right cards always seem to come up, isn't it, Kathy? Yeah. It does. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Look, thank you very much. Um, Teresa, you're up next. And uh, <laughs> your card is career. Career? And Yep, and the dot points to help you are balance time spent working, career path and ambition, attitude to working life, and integrity and honesty. Oh, awesome. Well, right now I am, capital I, capital A, capital M, um, allowing a, a career um, to just unfold um, and I'm not putting any mental uh, restrictions on myself. I'm just allowing myself to um, be that which I, I create through spending time with my source. And um, the other aspect is um, so that I can share that with the entire world. So that's it. <laughs> Oh, look, that's wonderful. Thank you very much, Teresa. That's, that's excellent. And the final aspect today is mine, and, and I've actually got fun and games. And uh, I, I think it's really an interesting one. And, it, and the key one there for me is about relaxing and going with the process. And it, it's been a really interesting process for me, especially in the last few weeks. And I've actually just getting over a dose and I've started breathing uh, really strangely over the air it's because I'm just getting over pneumonia and it, it's been a really challenge for me to have to sit still and, and to be quiet and just to breathe and and to recognize for me with fun and games that you know life is a process and it's okay and and, and one of the things I can often do is take the whole thing very seriously you know this is a very serious life and and to me, it's like, let's just enjoy it a little bit more and let's just have some more fun in it and, you know, and, and let's see it as a game and and and, uh, and just be happy, really, is I guess the end result for that. So, really appropriate card for me today. I'm really grateful for that one. So, there's the seven aspects that we've got. We've had fun and games. We've had fame and glory, talents and abilities, family and friends, unconditional love, food and career have been all the aspects that have come up and, and it seems to me that they've been really appropriate for each person. I, I just want to allow, and maybe we might come back to you, Anaya, do you want to comment, Anaya, on, on the relationship, not only between your card but the relationship between your aspect and all the other aspects that have come out? Yeah, Especially thanks, as you Barry. started with fame and glory. <laughs> Look, as always, every one of those cards has particular meaning to me, especially where I am right now in my life. And I'm really noticing that, you know, like in my head I know that there is no separation, but I'm noticing more and more lately. Like with career, it really relates exactly to what I was sharing about my card, fun and games. I'm far too serious at the moment. I'm not spending the time I need to enjoying my life, for example. Like you, I've had a thing with my lungs. There is so much today for me to really, unconditional love. How much am I really loving me? I love everyone else. How much am I really loving me, my own talents and abilities? So thank you so much. Oh, look, thank you, Anaya. And uh, Teresa, you, you haven't played before. I'd just like you get your view on uh, the relationship between your aspect and the others today. Have you noticed the, the connection between career and all the other aspects that have come up? Yes, I'm noticing something. I, I am noticing... Um that, you know, a lot like Anaya, uh, one of the reasons that I always went from this job to that job, it wasn't so much that I was a restless soul. It was just because I had this fear of, of fame and glory, if you will, of, of succeeding, of letting the world know how much I loved me. Because as I mentioned on her show the other day, I was always taught that, you know, 
you just thought you were just a super cool person if you, you know, were arrogant enough to even think about loving yourself. You know what I mean? And and nobody wanted to be that kind of cool. Nobody wanted to be that kind of popular. You know what I mean? So I I I spent way too many years in this life of of trying to fit into this because it was trendy and that because it was making people money and you know I'd get involved in these different venues in life and jobs and you know trying to create these different aspects to um, arrange my life just so and it didn't fit in it just didn't fit in as part of my divine blueprint on this in this life and today I'm you know as far as, you know, my career or anybody else's goes when I'm, you know, counseling with other people, I want to, it's just a wonderful energy there to allow people to just let it all go. Just let it all go. And the more time that I spend with myself and with my angels and the Ascended Masters and, you know, in my heart-centered space, the more this language of love is developing me, because trust me, people, it's nothing my little brain could think up. <laughs> so, oh, and I'm pretty intelligent. Much. I'm pretty intelligent, you know. But I just, uh, I, I become addicted, if you will, to this heart intelligence and to this expression that is pouring out to humanity, and it is developing me a career. It is. It is. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, and I'm just being patient with it. I'm not expecting anything. Um, I just move from moment to moment with the energies and and the thoughts that I feel that vibrate my entire being. You know, so that I stay in the here and now and don't worry about this, don't worry about that. All right. Okay, well, um, <laughs> thank you very much. Look, we're going to have to go to a break for a minute, but just before we do, I just want to maybe Kathy, we might get you back on. And uh, just to any thoughts that you might have at this stage. You know, I didn't really think about the unconditional self-love. And I think if I'm on a journey of any kind, it's around that. I am a professional at taking care of everybody else in the world, but I'm not that great at taking care of me. And that is the journey that I've been on the last few months is radical self-care. And so this is such a timely topic. And thank you, everybody, for bringing up the whole unconditional love for self. Coconut on the head, right? I forgot about that piece. So thank you. Oh, look, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. For those people who are listening, we did say that uh, we're going to pull a card for those people listening now. And, and the card I've chosen is education. So the aspect for everyone listening at the moment is education. And the points to consider are Experiences from the past, going back to school, learn from mistakes made, and remembering who you really are. So it might be something to think about for yourself where education fits into your life at the moment. So I just wanted to include that one there as well. So we've got one for everyone listening and everyone in the chat room at the moment. 